uh, Des Buford, and I'm sitting here with one of the co-directors of Kumuhina and um, the star and amazing doc subject of the film, uh, Hina, Hina Wankalu. Um, thank you so much for joining us and welcome to San Francisco. It's such an honor to have you both. Um, as you know, the, the film was a Frameline Completion Fund grantee and we're so thrilled to have supported the film and such an important film about Hawaii and um, two-spirit folks and indigenous folks and um, it's just it's such a thrill to have you here. Um, I'm wondering if we could start off telling us a little bit um, for Joe and also your co-director Dean who's not with us um, how how you met Hina and and what inspired you to make a film about her. Oh my gosh okay how long do we have? We have about uh, 20 seconds. <laughs> no so we uh, met Hina through a very good friend of ours who's also the co-producer on the film Connie Flores and it came at a time when Dean and I were coming off two years on the road with a previous Frameline film called Out in the Silence, where we were looking at the issues that lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender folks face in the context of conservative rural America. When we met Hina, we were introduced to Kumuhina's Hawaii and came to understand not only that people weren't marginalized like they are in the United States because of who we are, but they're welcomed, embraced, often revered because of the wisdom and presence that they have in their society. It was a revelation to us, and we knew upon Hina's invitation that it was going to be a film and stories that could help change the world. Um, Hina, you are so amazing in the film and, and in your day-to-day. -day. You're a teacher, you're an activist. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if you can tell us you know, a little bit about your connection to teaching, and especially at the charter school you teach at. Yes, um, I've been teaching for the last 13 years full time in the Hawaiian community and I truly find that it's one of the most rewarding things, one of the most rewarding occupations to be in because you get to see your students one by one learn and, and grasp and, and want to, they, they have a chance to really seek what, you know, what their next goal is. Um, when that light goes on one by one in each and every one of them, that's probably the best thank you that you could ever get. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a busy time. It's, uh, teaching full time. It's also campaigning because I'm, I'm running for statewide political office back home and a whole lot of other things. Mm -hmm. I'm also curious, um, you know, one of your students who's really featured in the film is Hawani, and I, I really identified with them growing up, kind of being a gender variant tomboy, and um, you were so affirming of Hawani, and I'm wondering if you could tell us a little bit about um, what it means to be in the middle and, and how that is a kind of valued, affirmed belief in Hawaii. Yes. Um, for our families in Hawaii who really understand the parameters of our culture and that is that the understanding of aloha the word for love and respect and also acceptance uh, when we accept unconditionally um, it's automatic for us to want to create a safe zone and so myself and ho'onani uh, in the film you know it was it's it was just a matter of everyday uh, living for us but it was also a way for us to give this message to everybody and say that being in the middle simply means not, not boxing someone in to what we expect or what we think, but simply allowing them to exist. And in Ho'onani's case, she can just be. And no matter what her life brings, no matter where she goes, she will know that she was comfortable because she was accepted in school. And that, that's so awesome. I, both my parents are teachers, and I, I have the utmost respect for you and everyone that teaches and shapes young minds. So, so thank you for the work you do. It's so important. Um, and one final question for um, Joe. Um, as you mentioned, you know, you and Dean have screened your work with us before. Can you tell us a little, a little bit about what Frameline means for you as a filmmaker? Oh, my God. It is, I have to say it's among the most extraordinary entities that exist for people who want to tell stories and help birth them into the world. Um, just being here in San Francisco this week, we have been embraced like family uh, by everybody we've encountered with Frameline. I mean, it's just an extraordinary experience. The way you've supported this film through the end of production 
and helping us launch it at a platform like this. The audiences at Frameline are unlike anything I've experienced anywhere. The enthusiasm of this community means everything to, to people like us who are trying to, to share our stories with people who care and will help carry it. Yes, mahalo. Thank you, thank you so much to the leaders at Frameline for helping to make this uh, possible. It is our utmost pleasure and thank you for joining us. Um, can't wait to share the film with, with our audiences. And again, thank you for just being such an inspirational force, um, not only in Hawaii, but all over the world. Mahalo. Thank Mahalo. You guys.